versus Stephen Hopkins. This is a heavyweight fight. Uh, this is our second heavyweight fight of the night. Stephen Hopkins is coming in, 34 years old, 5'11", and he is the Viking. Fighting at, coming in officially at 247 pounds from Bloomington, Indiana. He's uh, originally from Newcastle, Indiana. He is, it seems like, an independent fighter as well, no training facility. He's got two corners with him today, Kayleen Mornis and Jody Jacobs. And he's got 15 years of combat experience with one fight under his belt uh, in kickboxing. He's got seven fights in MMA. Uh, it's coming in as a southpaw. So we've had a lot of southpaws tonight, which is, is a new thing. I know a long time ago, we had so many orthodox fighters. It was unbelievable. Now, uh, doing this so much more, people are growing the ability, you know, to come to that southpaw stance. Hey, here's a little uh, fun trivia for you. Actually, Steven's only fight so far has been against Brian's younger brother, Austin. And uh, that's who, that, yeah, that was his last fight, actually. That loss he was just coming off of. So there might be a little bit of a storyline here. If okay, you will. gotcha. Well, I mean, that's why I love having you guys on the mic with me. I'd love to say I know all these guys like the back of my hand. But you guys being from this area, it's awesome. Oh, me, yeah. I'm just that extra voice to be screaming and hopefully get everybody excited, right? You're the voice of reason, Van. Don't ever doubt. You hear my voice go out? What about that Connor Bar fight right there? Oh, man. Man, that's one of my teammates, man. That kid has all the potential in the world. Both them guys put on one. Man, that show was insane. I actually thought that. I, I feel that should have been a draw and went to another round. That's um, what we were kind of expecting it to be, but you know, I mentioned earlier, there's that symptom of judges lapse in insanity, yep. and we'll leave it at that. Well, and, and that's where uh, Connor and I were, uh, Connor Poe and I were talking about, did the judges see damage or did they see volume? I felt Connor had the volume and he was landing more shots, but Justin landed some harder shots. Now again, that goes to a judge's eye. Are they a damaged judge? Or are they a volume? Now judge? let me ask you, Van, what is your personal opinion on what octagon control means? Because to me, if that means you're the fighter that's looking more composed and you're having the more controlled shots, yes, sir. I would say you are in control of the situation. Well, and, that, and that's where I was talking with Connor that I felt it should have been a draw because I felt Connor controlled those rounds that he needed to, to to own those because he had a higher volume. Higher volume and more movement sometimes isn't as much damage because you're not so settled on your feet, but you're being the smarter fighter. So again, that it goes down to the judges. I mean, you leave it to the judges, it's just so hard and I, well, the, I should say, but kickboxing is one of those things. Like You can't get that knockout. It's yeah. not like you can go submit the guy. Yeah, what I'll leave it at is, you know, with Connor being my teammate, I, there's obviously a little bias there, but he's the type of guy, this doesn't define him and he, he will come back stronger than ever. So, but moving on to this fight though, yeah, Brian's, Brian's coming out now. Well, the albino rhino coming in. He's 30 years old, 5'8", coming in officially at 252.8, fighting out of Newcastle, Indiana. Uh, training facilities, Man Maker Academy. His coach's name is Johnny Hughes. Johnny Hughes, that's right. And Better in the sport himself in a lot of ways. And he's got Johnny Hughes, and who was just on the mic last fight, Connor Poe is also in his corner. So he's gonna hopefully get a really good advice there. He's got two years of combat experience. Everyone loves a good heavyweight fight, huh, Van? Absolutely. And we've already had one hell of a heavyweight fight tonight. Here we go. No touch of gloves, going straight at it. Brian's coming Brian. out looking for business, ain't he? Yeah, he's coming for those leg kicks. It's intelligent fighting. Steven is throwing those straight jabs out. Ooh. But Brian's corner telling him to be smart. That's it's intelligent uh, advice right there. Absolutely. That's. You can't stress that enough, be smart. It sounds vague, but it's <laughs> critical, as I like to say. Yes. 
Oh, he landed that right and left, perfect. And Steven did not like it. Not at all. He's a little more reserved with what he's doing now because Brian is just bringing it. Like, man, one thing if I could say to all amateurs, man, you gotta learn to check them kicks. I've seen a lot of people eating a lot of kicks That's tonight. A good body. And man, look at the intensity in Brian's eyes. Oh, oh. that's it. Oh, Brian landed that so clean. He's got eight seconds though. And he knew, he knew it was there. He set that up seconds before. He was. He did the footwork just to land it. Absolutely good boxing from Brian there. Absolutely. Steven's still in it though, you gotta respect good, that. He don't want to get kicked, so he drops his hands and then he comes up top with the, with the hands. Well, Steven's very really obviously boom, boom, boom. compromised. That's it, That's Brian's it. on it. He's got one more Oh drop. yeah, there we go. This, this is what you see out of heavyweights. When they throw that heavy leather, I mean, it's just like, you're getting hit by a guy that big. And I think he's calling it right now, Van. He yep, don't want to get back Steven's up. Steven's done, that's it. Brian with the first round knockout, first one of the night. Yes, sir. There's Put one on for, for the fans. Good job. Our first KO of the evening, the albino rhino. Good show of uh, pressure from Brian there, you know, controlling the pace of the fight. A lot of leg kicks, set him up for that high boxing that put him down. Absolutely, I mean, it wasn't like he just went out there and started swinging wildly. I mean, he went out there with a game plan, his corner set it, fight smart. Good, good fight. Coming over here and telling us, did you see that? Yeah. Yes, we did, sir. That's how you deliver a performance. Absolutely. We got Connor Poe in his corner that was just on the mic, stoked that his teammate just went out there and showed a beautiful display of kickboxing. It wasn't like he went out there and just boxed. He went out there, he used his kicks to set up, dropping his hands, and then brought his hands up top. That's the thing, man. There ain't no better feeling than being on a team and seeing your teammate go out there and put on an excellent show. Absolutely. Good show, man. Good, Very good, good work, man. Good work. All respect to Steven, too, man. It takes Absolutely. two warriors to step in that cage, man. Yeah, I mean, the ball is to get out there and, and, and let's the freedom for the ladies, sorry. But the, the tenacity, I should say, to get out there, period, it takes a lot. Absolutely. And that's what I told people. They can get that. That was our sponsored bout of the night. And again, as you just heard from Fierce Fitness 24 seven. Good show from the heavyweights there, man. It's always entertaining to watch the big boys get in there and make